Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a dependent validation drop down list in Excel. Here I have a data set for two countries India and the US. So for India I have the names of five states in India and in US I have uh, the names of five states in the US. Now the idea is to first create a a drop down list uh, which would give us the option to select uh, either India or the US so let me first create uh, a drop down list here to do that go to the data tab and here in data validation select data validation in this data validation dialog box in settings go to this drop down and select list here in source I select these two cells and click OK. So now I have a drop down which gives me two options India and US. Now the idea is to have another drop down here which should changed, which should get changed based on the value in cell E2. So if I have selected India then the drop down here should show me these five states name and if here I have selected the US then this drop down should show me the name of these five states. Now to do this I will have to first create two named ranges. So to do that I select this entire data set go to formula here in name manager I have this option uh, create from selection so I click on this and what this does is this takes this data and based on what checkbox are checked here uh, it creates name ranges so if I have only top row checked then it would create a named range India with this data with these five states name and US with these five states name so I only have the top row checked and I click OK this has created named ranges uh, you can check this by clicking on name manager and you can see we have two named ranges India uh, which refers to refers to B3 to B7 which is this and uh, US which refers to C3 to C7 which is this now to create a dependent drop down in F2 we will again go to data and data validation and here in list I would type the formula in direct and refer this to E2 but I would not lock this so I would just press F4 thrice and that's it I will use this and you can see it's done I have the name of the states in the US and as soon as I change this to India this list changes now the way this works is that when I use this formula indirect let me show you here what it does so indirect takes a reference text and converts it into that reference so for example here if I give this a1 then it will go to a1 and identify the value here so in case had I had a value 1 here this would have returned a 1 let me remove this so when I give this uh, a reference in text format it goes to that reference and fetches that value in this case instead of a text reference I gave it a reference of a named range so it goes to E2 and e it sees here that there is India so it refers to the values in India so if I if you go and select this formula and click F9 and press F9 you will see that this actually returns an array of the named range called India similarly if I change this to the US this named range would change so I edit go into the edit mode in formula select the entire formula and press F9 and this will change this to the named range called the US and this is how this works so you can copy this down and you can also copy this down and you have 
your named range ready as soon as you change this to India you will only have states in India and as soon as you change this to the US you will only have states in the US so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful uh, for more such tips and tricks on Excel visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel on YouTube thank you and have a nice day